the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Atlanta Falcons and the Dallas Cowboys. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State in the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Atlanta Falcons and the Dallas Cowboys. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that can have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. When teed up and we are underway here at AT&T Stadium. Taken at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. As we take a peek at their versatile quarterback, the Hawaii native and former Oregon Duck, Marcus Mariota. Coming out of Oregon as the Heisman Trophy winner, we thought that this guy was headed towards superstardom, and while he didn't quite reach those heights, he did have some flashes along the way. And right now, his athleticism continues to keep him in the league. Still has a good arm, mobile, a great guy to have in the locker room. He can win if given an opportunity. Now Patterson to start the drive. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks them up. And avoids the turnover. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. Pardon me, sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. And let's see who's faster. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. On second down, a run with Patterson. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. They'll run with Patterson. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. First and ten, it's Patterson. He'll take this to the 46. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 35. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, they certainly weren't afraid to let it fly early, and they hope that'll keep the defense honest and keep the offensive guys excited about getting back out there. They are in attack mode in this game. It did backfire a little bit. Now you're just hoping your defense can keep them off the scoreboard so you're not facing a deficit the next time you run out there. 
first look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Jalen Hawkins is there to bring him down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. He'll buy some time right. He's got a man complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 33 yards that time. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure is good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Prescott. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw it through contact and short of the sticks. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Well, that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. On first down, going back to Patterson. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. From the 38, Mariota. And he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Falcon football. As they've got it with a third down coming up. Mariota. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Bird. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. So that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 42 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Just get the playoff. Now Mariota. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Throw it. Mariota. Pass complete to Bird out right here. 
And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 25-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Mariota on first down. Escapes the sack. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup at four. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Two knocks this one through the post, and the Falcons are out to a 3-0 advantage. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've kind of probed a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. This is taken way up at the 25. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Throwing again on second and 10. Prescott. He'll get this to Elliott. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Play action now. Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third of the yard. Prescott now from the 50. Left side to Lamb. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. We need, need to get the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. That's good for 28 yards. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing, Prescott steps away to his left. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Now Prescott. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. That's complete, right around the eight. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. On fourth down, Prescott goes off, and on comes the Cowboy kicker, Brett Maher, for the field goal try. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So on fourth down, on comes the Dallas kicker, Brett Maher. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. 
So as they take it over, we step aside. Now Brent Maher for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Maher able to put this one through, and that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. Field goal is all we've had so far. 3-3 three, three now as the kick is away. And this fielded right at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? So they grabbed the lead just before half with a clock reading 0, 0, 0. How about snatching things right at the end and grabbing a little bit of control? What a great way to go into the locker room. It's similar to a boxer flurrying in the last 30 seconds of a round and stealing the round. Great job. Now the try here for the point after. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Falcons. And even though they've got the lead, they're likely going over ways they can improve the running game as they didn't find a whole lot of success in those first two quarters. Both teams making their final preparations for the second half of action. So with that, let's get you back out to Arlington where we rejoin Brandon and Charles. in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. A good gain on first. Has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Looking to throw, Prescott. Looking middle, 
and it's incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, it's Pollard. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here, we do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Hold on, off that. Ouch, could have been a game-tying touchdown. They'll have to hold on that at least for now. Ouch in a big way, like ripping the Band-Aid off there. Can they let the sting subside and come back and get it done? After the penalty, it's Elliott. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it on line, but it comes up about a rotation short. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons' offense now. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Well, NFL quarterbacks have learned the hard way. You're not going to get Rich thrown against this guy. He's definitely too good. And this is now his second interception of the ball game. And if I'm running the offense, I've got to tell my guys, you've got to go work on the other corner. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Following the interception, here's Prescott. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, Elliott. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love it. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. First 
touchdown carry by Elliott. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 17-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Prescott. Quick slant to Brown. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard. Maybe a touch less. Prescott now. And he's got it. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Prescott to throw it. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth-quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, is we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. Taking it at about the one. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Beginning on the ground with Patterson. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Again, Patterson. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. 54 yards on the ground for him so far. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Algier will try to pick it up. He put it on the carpet, a fumble. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the yeah, ball over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Turn. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Patterson, he'll try it up the middle. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. Bulldozes past him. Really good effort. He does it himself, picks up 15, also picks up the first down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Throw left side, there's London. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 34-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Back to the ground now, Patterson. And a short gain down to about the 33. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Mariota going to run the option right. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'd love to get a little closer if they need to kick the field goal on fourth down. From this spot, it's 46 yards. Now Mariota. And he's got Pruitt. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Second and goal, here's an option play left. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They've just likely won this thing in regulation. Well, any thoughts about overtime have ended at this juncture. That touchdown puts them up six. I would imagine they'll kick the extra point now and rely on their defense. Yeah, rely on their defense. So a little bit of time left on the clock here in the fourth, but they got to feel good now. Coup for the extra point.
And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. So that would a 13-play drive in total. And it was capped off by the quarterback sneak for six. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Well, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked off by A.J. Terrell. And the Falcons have just about sewn up this football game. Well, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score. They get the victory. And that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win.